So you're thinking about moving to Sarasota, but you're not exactly sure like what it costs to live here. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down what the true costs are. We're not going to be talking about the home prices, median home prices, which you can find online. But what we're actually going to be doing is we're going to be going to three different grocery stores, Walmart, Whole Foods, Publix, and then sharing with you those grocery prices so that you can compare them to where you're currently living right now so that you're aware of what grocery items cost in the Sarasota area. And then at the end of the video, we're also going to be sharing with you some gas prices and things like that. So stay tuned to the end to watch it. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's get started. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And if you wanna know everything about Sarasota, then tap that subscribe button down below and also hit that little bell icon to be notified when we drop a new video every single week. But once again, my name is Noah and I am constantly getting emails and phone calls from you guys looking to start your home search here in Sarasota and I absolutely love it. So whether or not you're ready to move in 10 days or 90 days, just shoot me a call, text, or email, and I'm happy to help you with your home search here in Sarasota. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be checking out three different grocery stores, Walmart, Publix, and Whole Foods. We're gonna be checking out everything that they have to offer, what grocery prices they have, and because I feel like this is a big question that I get quite often because there's not really many videos created about what grocery prices do cost. I, just like you, did move to Florida from the Midwest. So I did not know really what grocery prices were. Sure, I did vacation here, but I did not really focus on the grocery prices too much and I really couldn't find any information on it when I was coming here. So I feel like this would be a very valuable video for you guys. And also if you guys stick around to the end, what I'm also gonna be doing is sharing what our current gas prices are because actually it is shocking to some people when they realize what our gas prices are just because gas prices are different throughout the entire country. So you're gonna see me looking down at this little sheet of paper that has all of the prices of all of the foods, but I will also be overlaying some video as well as far as like what um, grocery stores we go into and stuff like that so you guys have a better visual image as well. So we're gonna start off with bread. And bread at Walmart was by far the cheapest. And we looked at the Sarah Lee white bread, classic regular white bread for a buck 98 at Walmart. Publix, it was 2.99. And then at Whole Foods, we actually saw it at 3.99, but once again, that was not Sara Lee bread. That was Nature's Own. They did not carry Sara Lee in Whole Foods. But then I also go to the organic because that's what I do. I like to buy the organic food. Um, and at Walmart, this organic bread, Arnold Organic, was 3.98. And then Publix, that same exact Arnold Organic bread was 4.99. So an entire dollar more expensive at Publix compared to Walmart. And then at Whole Foods, we really couldn't find this Arnold organic bread, so we just stuck with the generic Whole Foods organic brand, and that was $3.79. So now, we're going to be moving on to the eggs. And regular generic eggs at Walmart were a buck 36. And then at Publix, those generic eggs were a buck 29, so a few cents cheaper at Publix. And then at Whole Foods, their cheapest that I could find was $3.99, so a couple dollars more expensive than Walmart or Publix. And then we're gonna go on to the pasture-raised eggs, which that's what I like to get, just because I feel that they get fed a little bit better than those regular generic eggs, and I always like those added nutrients that are within those pasture-raised eggs. So at Walmart, we found these pasture-raised eggs for $5.48. We went to Publix, found the same exact brand, but they were $6.29. And then of course, when we go to Whole Foods, they did not have those same exact pasture-raised eggs. However, they did have a different brand of pasture-raised eggs, and those were $4.99. So now we're gonna be moving on to milk. So milk, we just checked out the generic milk at Walmart, and that was $3.40. And then we went to Publix and got their generic milk as well, and we saw that that was $4.19, so about, you know, about a buck more. And then it, we went to Whole Foods, got their regular milk and generic, and that was $5.99, so a couple dollars more expensive than Walmart, 
um, and that's basically for the same milk. Sure, they are different brands, but they are all generic brands. And then we go to organic, um, just because I feel like I'm a big organic and pasture raised guy, as you can see throughout this video. So I wanted to break it down because a lot of people are starting to go or organic, just depending on what your beliefs and values are in this food that we have. So organic milk is $3.52 at Walmart. And then that same exact milk is $4.86 at Publix. And then we go to Whole Foods, and then that milk was actually $4.29. So that was cheaper than Publix, but more expensive than Walmart. So as you can see here, we're starting to see a pattern where Whole Foods is kind of more expensive than Publix in certain things, but Walmart is mostly always gonna be the cheapest option for you guys to shop at. And then we're gonna move on to coffee. I'm a big cold brew guy. I love having my ice cold brew in the morning. And for coffee, we're gonna be taking a look at the Starbucks brand for both Walmart and Publix. At Walmart, their Starbucks uh, regular blend coffee was $9.98. But then if we went to Publix, got that same exact bag of coffee, and that was actually $12.99. So several dollars more expensive at Publix compared to Walmart. And then we went to Whole Foods once again, they did not have the Starbucks brand. They had their own Whole Foods brand, and that was $11.99. So still a little bit cheaper than Publix, but it's not your Starbucks brand. So whatever kind of coffee you're into, it will all depend on that. But I just picked Starbucks just because that has been very popular of a coffee brand. And now we're going to move on to peanut butter. So we're going to take a look at Jif peanut butter for both Walmart and Publix. And at Walmart, that peanut butter was $5.78. Then if we went to Publix, that same exact Jif peanut butter was $6.61. So it's about a buck, buck more expensive at Publix compared to Walmart. And then we went to Whole Foods. Obviously, they didn't have Jif because that's not really healthy in Whole Foods' eyes. And what we found was that their Whole Foods brand it was, was smaller in size than the Publix and Walmart Jif and it was $4.99. So a little bit cheaper, but it is a little bit smaller of a container as well. And then we're gonna move on to beef. So I'm gonna break it down from regular ground beef to grass-fed beef because grass-fed beef for me, that's what I like to buy and so I just wanted to give that because I know a lot of people buy organic grass-fed and stuff like that. Um, that can be for another later video. But regular beef at Walmart is $5.24 per pound. And then if we went to Publix, that same generic ground beef is $5.99 per pound. And what was actually really interesting was that that same like basic ground beef was $5.99 per pound once again at Whole Foods. So Publix and Whole Foods were the same. However, I just think that the Whole Foods ground beef was a little bit more cleaner as far as the Publix. And then we go into the grass-fed beef. And the grass-fed beef was $6.78 at Walmart. And then when we go to Publix, that grass-fed beef was $8.49. So almost a whole $2 more expensive at Publix compared to Walmart. And in Whole Foods, that was $7.49 per pound. So it was cheaper than Publix. Whole Foods was cheaper than Publix but Walmart was the cheapest once again overall. And if you guys, I wanna give you guys one little secret real quick. You guys gotta check out whole, or gotta check out Walmart for their organic and grass-fed beef. For me, that is the cheapest I've ever found it compared to like Aldi, um, Whole Foods, Target, stuff like that. Walmart is by far a steal um, for ground beef or any type of ground meat um, that is grass-fed. And now we're gonna move on to yogurt. So luckily I was able to find the same exact uh, yogurt brands and Greek yogurt brands and all three of these stores, which is super nice. And so we can compare it just like that. So Faye regular yogurt was $5.38 at Walmart. Then if we went to Publix, that same Faye yogurt was $5.99. So it's, it is a little bit more expensive than the Walmart brand. And then what was actually interesting once again was we went to Whole Foods and that Faye, same brand, same container, same everything, was still $5.99. So the same exact for Publix and Whole Foods, but Walmart was the cheapest. Then we're gonna move on to organic Greek yogurt because I know a lot of you like organic and Greek yogurt. So I wanted to put that on there as well. 
So at Walmart, that organic Greek yogurt was $6.34. And then at Publix, that same exact organic Greek yogurt was $6.99. And then we went to Whole Foods and that same organic Greek yogurt was $6.99. So as you can see, Publix and Whole Foods had the same exact prices for yogurt, which is actually unique because I haven't seen that too often in the grocery stores. And now we're gonna move on to cereal. One of my favorite cereals, and I don't really have it that often, is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it is always amazing to have a nice bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the morning. And at Walmart, their family size was only $3.32. And if we went to Publix, they didn't have the family size there, they had the regular size Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and that was $4.31. So you get more at Walmart for a cheaper price. And then of course, we go to Whole Foods, they don't have Cinnamon Toast Crunch because it's not really a healthy food. So we matched it with the Cascadian Farms Organic Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and that was basically, um, it's kind of like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but it's their version of it. It's a little bit healthier. Um, that one was that one was a smaller container still, and that was three dollars and ninety nine cents. So as you can see here, Walmart was still cheaper for a bigger container of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but Whole Foods that one was a little bit more um, expensive, but it was organic. And now we're gonna move on to canned tuna because I know some of you like it, some of you don't. I personally like canned tuna and making a nice dip out of it. Um, my personal favorite is the Bumblebee brand, and that's where I'm going to be showing you here. And at Walmart, that can was 80 or 87 cents. So one can is 87 cents at Walmart. Then we go to Publix, that same exact Bumblebee can is 99 cents a can. And then we go to Whole Foods. Now this was kind of a shock to me because I thought it was just gonna be a little bit more expensive, but we went to Whole Foods and all they had was their own Whole Foods 365 generic brand. And that one was $1.99 for just one can alone. So basically you can buy two cans of Bumblebee at Walmart or Publix for the price of one can at Whole Foods. Now we're gonna move on to barbecue sauce. And barbecue sauce, we of course, we gotta, we gotta go with the OG, which is Sweet Baby Ray's. I know a lot of you like Sweet Baby Ray's and especially on ribs, they are fantastic. Um, at Walmart, a 20 ounce bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's was $2.67. And then we go to Publix, that same exact uh, bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's was $3.49. So a whole dollar cheaper, or a whole dollar more expensive at Publix than it was at, Whole Fo or at Walmart. And then we go to uh, Whole Foods. Of course, they don't have Sweet Baby Ray's because it's not at their health level for um, Whole Foods. And so we had to find a smaller one and we tried to find as close as we could to what the Sweet Baby Ray's was. So we found a 19 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce and that one was $5.69. So quite a bit more expensive than Sweet Baby Ray's at Walmart, almost double the price. And now we're gonna move on to White Claw and Bud Light. So if you guys love White Claw, you guys are gonna like this section. So White Claw here at Walmart, that same package was $14.98. And then we go to Publix, go find the exact same White Claw. That one was $16.99. So that's a whole $2 more expensive at Publix compared to Walmart. So that's definitely a steal at Walmart. And then we go to Whole Foods, they did have White Claw, and that one was even more expensive at $17.99. So if you guys are looking for White Claw, highly recommend going to Walmart. Now we're gonna go on to Bud Light. And this was kind of, I'm just gonna say it, that there's different kinds of packaging in all three of these different ones because I couldn't find the same you know, number of cans, um, beer cans, or just regular cans. So. Here at Walmart, we found a 24 pack of regular cans for $19.73. Then we go to Publix and we found a 20 pack of cans for $19.99. And then we go to Whole Foods and we found a 12 pack of Bud Light cans because that's all they had for $13.99. So even if you doubled the 12 pack at Whole Foods, that would be about $27. So still way more expensive than Walmart, almost $10 more expensive than Walmart. And now we're gonna move on to desserts, which my favorite is ice cream. And what we picked out here was classic vanilla Breyers ice cream. And at Walmart, this ice cream was $3.88 at Walmart. And then at Publix, we went to get the same exact briars and it was actually cheaper than Walmart. Shocking because Walmart is always is usually cheaper than Publix. So it is interesting to see that briars is a little bit cheaper at $5.75. 
And then we go to Whole Foods. Of course, they don't have briars because it's not as their health level or recommendation. And their Whole Foods brand of ice cream, vanilla ice cream, was $5.99. So it is more expensive than Briars at Walmart and more expensive than Publix as well. So now that breaks down like kind of the most popular items at the grocery store and the prices at three different ones. As you can see, Walmart is usually the winner when it comes to buying groceries. Then you can find some good deals at Whole Foods. Like for example, what I like to get at Whole Foods are their organic rolled oats because that's the cheapest I can find per pound compared to any of these three grocery stores. And then the other thing you wanna shop for at Whole Foods is their salmon, either their Atlantic or their sockeye salmon when it's on sale. And if you are a Prime member, that's when I go. But if you're not a Prime member, I'll go to Costco because it's the same price there um, without any sales or anything. So I love going to Costco as well. And I'll do another video about Costco prices here in Sarasota. The other thing I like going to Whole Foods for is of course their eggs, their milk, their yogurt and stuff like that. So now we're going to be talking about gas prices. So this is what I wanted to talk to you about at the beginning. So gas prices here actually shock people when they move like from California when gas is like $4.50 a gallon. I've been there when it's $5 a gallon, which is absolutely crazy to me. But coming from the Midwest where it's usually under, you know, 280, somewhere around there, highest it gets is like 290. Um, that's probably the standard in Wisconsin where we're at, where I was at located. Um, and then obviously if you come from the East Coast, maybe a little bit more expensive. But here in Sarasota, Right now with what is going on, I guess, with the hurricane that just happened, it did jump up gas prices. They were at $2.89 just a couple days ago, but ever since the hurricane, it did jump up to $2.99. I really haven't seen it break $3 here in Sarasota in a really, really long time. So it's always hovering around that $2.80 mark, $0.85, $0.89 mark. That's what it's been at for the past several months. Sometimes it goes down to $3.79, but that's usually the range of gas prices. And that's just for regular gas. If you're looking for premium gas, you're gonna be looking to spend around $3.29 right now for premium gas per gallon. And then of course, if you drive a diesel truck or if you have a semi, then you will be paying around $3.15. I sometimes see that fluctuate to just around $3 as well here in Sarasota. So now that concludes our video today about shopping at three different grocery stores, Walmart, Publix, Whole Foods. I hope you guys found a lot of value in this video and I hope you guys go back and compare it to the prices uh, where you're currently living as well because sometimes I didn't really break down the numbers myself beforehand before this so I really didn't have an idea of like all these price changes and stuff but I was actually shocked to see that Publix was sometimes more expensive than Whole Foods because Whole Foods is sometimes known as the most expensive grocery store so that was a super big shock to me as well but once again if you guys did find value in this video hit that subscribe button down below and also tap that little bell icon to get notified when we drop our weekly videos and if you guys have any questions whatsoever I'm more than happy to help you out as far as moving to Sarasota if you just want more information on Sarasota you can text email me or call me anytime you want I'm more than happy to speak with you about Sarasota but till next time I hope to see you guys all on my next video